It was a horrible surgery experience that left a teacher and a mom to two young daughters near death. Good evening, I'm Kirsten Holmes, in for Barbara Lee Edwards. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. We want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are disturbing. In this Your Stories report, News 8's Ariana Cohen spoke with the mother and with the doctor who saved her life after a weight loss surgery in Mexico went horribly wrong. Carlo and Kirsten, weight loss surgeries have been a fad for quite some time now. We even see it on hit television shows. Sometimes the results are successful, but for Amy Davenport, it was a nightmare. I would describe it as, as more than a nightmare. It has been the, the single most um, traumatic thing that I've ever been through in my entire life. Like many people in the United States, Amy Davenport was seeking weight loss surgery to live a better life. I've battled with weight my whole life and I just want to feel healthy. She pursued facilities in the United States, but she says she chose Oasis of Hope Center in Tijuana, Mexico due to its plethora of positive reviews on the internet and affordable cost. And so it's appealing to think, oh, I can take care of this issue for, you know, under $6,000. Immediately after her surgery was completed, Amy had severe abdominal pains. I was so sick and so, so sick and so much pain. They were like, that's normal, it's gas, it's, in, you know, it's indigestion. Her pain and discomfort continued, so she went to a hospital in Texas where Dr. Sina Mateen admitted her to the emergency room. I couldn't believe the CAT scan because it described was probably what we consider to be a severe malpractice. Honestly, we thought I was going to die. Dr. Mateen decided she needed emergency surgery. He took this horrific photo of Amy's intestine. Not only were her intestines enlarged and infected, but also stapled shut at both ends. It was so devastating to see my intestines. They were the size of fists laying on an OR table, and you could see the staples on both ends. At one point, Amy's husband was preparing for the worst. I had actually come up with a plan on how to break the news to your daughters. Um, you know, nobody should ever expect to, to make plans to tell your daughters that their mother has died. They tried calling doctors at Oasis of Hope and didn't receive any response until they made a dispute of the credit card charges. News 8 tried calling the director at the Mexico hospital. No comment. She finally contacted someone at the Mexico hospital Friday morning. Um, actually earlier this morning and he said, well, accidents happen, you know, accidents happen and we're really sorry about that. Um, but the emotional um, toll that it's taken on me and my family is much more than what accidents can even be explained at this point. Don't trust the internet. We can, I can create a website that makes me blonde, blue eyes, and you know, I may look like Brad Pitt by the end of the day, but it's, I don't look like Brad Pitt and I'm not blue, blonde, blue eyes. If I had it to do over again, I would never do it, ever do it in Tijuana. Amy now has to have a J-tube for the next several months. Amy has another surgery in about nine months to a year. She may have nutritional and vitamin deficiencies for the rest of her life. They are now filing a criminal complaint with Oasis of Hope in Mexico. Ariana Cohen, News 8.